All right, what I'm going to do next is show you how to pull data from um, Google Finance in order to uh, research the companies that you need to research for your authentic assessment. So if I go to Google Finance, we'll go there, um, and just click on Google Finance, you'll come up with this, and um, you can research whoever you want to, but you can, you'll notice that there's a portfolios that shows up. That's only really going to show up if you've um, already done some searching and added it to your portfolio. You can see world markets and some other things um, there. Now, if, if you don't know um, what the stock uh, code is, you can just go and um, start searching um, whatever you want. So go to Wendy's. All right, so there's one of these stock as an example. So it's at 964, and uh, here's, gosh, there's a whole bunch of data here that's available to you. You don't need to deal with all that data because you're just trying to pull it for yourself um, and get the table. So you're going to go to historical prices. That was over here on the left. And when you go to historical prices, it'll show up, um, you know, a whole bunch of results. What we're going to do is we're going to focus on just one month worth of data. So I'm going to go um, back to July here. We're going to do July 1st, and I'm going to go a little bit more than a month. So I'll go July 1st to July 11th and update that information. All right, so now I have a list of those dates, and um, I can now download that information to a spreadsheet. I'm going to click download to spreadsheet and either it'll ask me where to save it to or it'll pop up, um, I'll show you in a second here, I'm going to label it Wendy's just so I remember, hit save, alright so mine popped down up, popped up down here at the bottom of my screen as a CSV file. Okay, CSV files are nice, but they're um, they're also going to cause some problems when you go to um, upload them into Google Drive. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our Google Drive. Um, I may just have to go. Let's do this. Here's Google Finance. Go up here to the top right. Those squares. There's Drive. All right, and I can upload a file, and this should be saved to my downloads file. So I was paying it. Hopefully, I was paying attention as I downloaded the file, and I, in this case, I did. So I downloaded Wendy's.csv into the downloads section. I'm going to upload this as the one I want to put in there, and um, let's go to that file. Okay, looks like that. So I want to try and open that in Google Sheets. All right, perfect. So it set it up for me because I did those steps. Um, so now that it's in there, I can manipulate it in all the different ways that you can see in the tutorial that I, I showed you before. Um, keep in mind that it pulls the data from the most recent date to the um, it goes down to the earlier dates. So you want to be just extra careful that you probably resort that um, to do the things that we did in class.